Hi, I'm Mark Bona. I'm with Northeast Ohio Media Group, and I'm with Rick Arman from the Akron Beacon Journal. We write about beer, and we've got a really tough gig today. We're taking the Cleveland Brew Bus around to six established breweries, and we're starting off with Fatheads here in North Olmsted. And the focus of today's discussion will be Holiday Ale. We're with Mike Sosak, who is, you're one of the main brewers here? Yes, head brewery. So, Mike, tell us a little bit. We're drinking Holly Jolly, and we've got a, a platter full of the fresh spices that, uh, that we have here. Tell us what's in it and, uh, and how the beer is made. Well, we happen, happen to be uh, brewing Holly Jolly today, so it's a good day to stop by. Um, it's a holiday spice ale. We uh, have five main ingredients besides the hops, grain, water, and yeast that obviously are in beer. We have a clover honey that we use. Uh, that provides some residual sweetness and some added sugar uh, for fermentation. We have nutmeg, cinnamon, some coriander, and some ginger. Um, everybody kind of has a different combination of these spices in their beer. The base beer for Holly Jolly is pretty much, it's kind of an amber brown range, uh, basically, a, basically a strong ale. About 7.4% ABV on it. and. Uh, some low, low IBU, low bittering on it, just enough to balance everything out. Uh, spices are added more, mostly towards the end of the brew. They add, uh, obviously, your cinnamon flavor and aroma. Coriander's added at the end, gives you a, kind of a lemony zest nose to the beer. Ginger gives you that ginger bite, a little bit of bite, a little bit of flavor in there. And the nutmeg obviously rounds things out in that holiday flavor. Well, Rick and I have to pace ourselves, but I'm getting, I'm kind of curious what you what you get out of this, Rick. I get uh, cinnamon and nutmeg right away. Yeah. I, think, <clears throat> I think the spice is really balanced. It's a, it's a good one. I think you hit a home run. What right. do you get? No, it's the same. I, I'm, I get a really nice balance with the spices. And um, as you said, they're a little darker. Um, even, I think, Mark, were you talking about like a roasted flavor at one point? You kind um, of a blend of roast, a little bit of caramel in there. Yeah. Uh, we, we tend to try to dry our beer out a little bit to give you, it's not so sticky, not so sweet, something that you want to go back to and have another pint of.